everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Imperial Agents. Now, forget what I said last week, that uh, this week would be the final episode. It's not because I forgot that Chapter 1 is usually the longest chapter out of the three. You've got the prologue, which is like just two planets. Then you've got Chapter 1, which is... One, two, three, four, about four to five planets, and sometimes bits in between. I can't remember how many planets that actually is. Cause there's, yeah, yeah, anyway, um, four to five planets in chapter one. Then chapter two has like three and four, and then chapter three is again three and four, but I can't remember how many exactly. Um, so yeah, I forget that chapter one is usually the longest. So. I will actually finish up these episodes on the 29th of uh, November. Or if we do finish Chapter 1 by then, but I can't see we will. We've got four more episodes to do. No. Three? No, four. Three, four. What? 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 I forget. Yeah, whatever. So we might get to 13 episodes. We might get to 12. I don't know. It depends on when Chapter 1 comes first. Again, whatever comes first, Chapter 1 ending or um, the 29th, the very last week of November. Anyway... Right, let's get on with the actual episode. So we have some mail before we get on to the main story, if you remember what you have to do. But this is part of Watcher X Fixer 7 says to me, Cypher 9, we've never met, but I wanted to thank you for your handling of Watcher X on Nashadar. I know from personal experience how deceptive the man can be. The thought of him running free is mildly terrifying. You likely aren't aware of the events that led to Watcher X's imprisonment. All I can say is that Operation Undertow left me with scars that will never heal. I was among the lucky ones. My people will be performing a detailed post-mortem on the body. There's much to learn, and we won't build a mistake like him again. See, now, many of you complain to me that I did... Well, I say many of you, only a few of you. I don't know why I, I overdo it. I always say many of you, but many means, like, two or three. But some of you complain to me that I actually did kill Watcher X. You know, in my head, I am regretting it a little bit, but you've got to think to yourself, well, I can just make another character one day and then just not kill him. So, yeah, in this main story, I did kill Watcher X, but hopefully in the future there's going to be some more pounding decisions which I actually do which affect the story future because I get the feeling Watch X would have affected the story hugely. But we'll see. Um, so, when we last left off, we spoke to uh, Darth Jadis' daughter, Darth Zorid, um, wants me to go to Nashadar, which we just came from Nashadar, so let's go back to Nashadar, and we, I keep saying Nashadar, 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 and we need to locate Vyord Yanol, which is one of uh, Zarid's Thingies. Thingy, thingy, thingies. And there's that awesome cutscene again. That reminds me of uh, Senate Pamadala's ship. Unless that... Well, of course, this would have come first, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just thought I'd remind you as well. It has been 11 weeks, about 11 weeks, since I started this Imperial Agent playthrough. Can you believe nearly three months has just gone? Can you believe that? I just, We started this August 20... Was it 23rd? It was either the 23rd or the 29th, because I did the Imperial Agent, and then I started the Trooper. We are now nearing the 10s of November. I, I, I can't believe that. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, it was actually, actually, yeah, it was the 29th, wasn't it? No, the 30th. Something along the lines. I can't remember. Um, it was either a Friday or it was a something. Um, but anyway, we're back on Nashadar. Yeah, I just can't... Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Yeah, I just can't believe we've just... Time has just gone. Uh, and we're nearing... We are nearing... We're probably about middle way through Chapter 1, actually. Again, I thought we were near the end, but I was wrong. Um, so we need to find Voyard's Yano's hideout because he is... Uh, b -b -b what was it? Yano... Yavoyd Yano, weird name. One of Darth Jadis' advisors and the last person to see him alive, Darth Jadis has fled to Nashadar, and Darth Zorad wants you to find Yanel so she can learn her father's secrets. So, his hideout is where, please tell me? Oh, I've actually got a... I hate this about Nashadar, you have to... ...are ruthless. The things I hear they do to the Evokai. All true. Still, have you ever actually met an Evokai? Most pathetic things I've ever seen. Honestly, how could the Huts not enslave a species like that? That's cold. Go meet one, then you can talk. 50 credits says you wind up shoving it into a gutter and laughing. 50 credits? What? what? I'd bet at least a thousand. Are they still dealing with this murder? Oh, come on. I've been, I've been back into space and back and the body is still there. 
Oh, shit. Anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, I hate it in Nashada that you have to actually go to the taxi terminal to know where you've actually got to go, because it doesn't show on your map. Yeah, it shows that, but that's it. If I close that, it doesn't say, it doesn't point you over there, because it just doesn't, and you have to actually go to the taxi terminal to say that it points over there. It's kind of ridiculous, in a way, but... I don't know, I don't know, it's just one of these things that the game does. Okay, fortunately we haven't got to travel far, we've only got to travel over there and then up there and then to the elevator and then God knows where the elevator leads, but hopefully not too far. That's good news though! Tell you what, at this very moment I've actually got Sunset Overdrive downloading on my Xbox. Uh, I really hope it's a good game. I mean, I played it at EGX, and but of course, because I didn't really know what the controls were, I kind of didn't enjoy it, but I, I had so much credit on my Xbox Live account, I had about £75, because basically what I do, there's um, this scheme we have at where I work. Oh dear, I'm being attacked. There's a scheme we have at our work where you can get, what, £10 off when you spend £40 or something? And I just bought myself a whole bunch of... Um, what you call it? It's the uh, ba -ba 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 Xbox Live cards. But at the same time, I had like five pound vouchers with our new scheme, which we're doing at our place of work. Uh, so I managed to get like forty odd pounds worth of uh, credit for twenty three pound because I bought some other stuff as well. So actually, no, forty pounds worth of Xbox credit for twenty quid, which was awesome. Um, so I, yeah, I bought myself a bunch of credit and I ended up with like seventy five on my Xbox Live account so I needed to buy something and I wanted to buy Sunset Overdrive because it it looked interesting and I was and I want to be proven wrong that it really is a good game because everybody is giving the game high praise so that's that's my reasoning behind it again you didn't really need to know that but I try to fill these episodes up with information about my life as best as I can just going to interrupt this episode to say that Sunset Overdrive is actually awesome. I've been playing it for about four hours and oh my god, it's amazing! Anyway, back to the Imperial Agent. Haha! -ha! Fortunately, this is an Imperial Agent phase, so we shall just go inside and then up the elevator and then hopefully we should be there. Uh, locate Fjord Hideout, we need to defeat. Oh, really? Oh. Defeat his forces then. I guess he's not taking kindly to strangers. Fair enough. Ooh, sinister music. Ooh. Right, where are we going? 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 Sorry, I'm just being a portal turret. Uh, turret, um, to, uh, core thingy. You know what I mean. Actually, I should probably kill the thug first rather than the bodyguard. Bonus mission? No bonus mission. What? What's wrong with you, game? Are you okay? I don't have the coordination up because I'm an idiot. I know you are taking damage, Kaleo. I, you always taking damage. You always die first, and you're not even a tank. Are you a tank? Actually, I don't really know. Uh, enter sniper sniper rate, increasing all damage dealt by. Are you in tank? You might be in tank mode, actually. Oh, you. That's why. That's why you keep dying because. Ugh. Let's share the damage then, because yeah, I can't. You know, obviously you take all the damage first, but I think you kind of do more damage than me in a way, sort of ish. Yeah, you do. Okay, you do about just the same, about roughly as me, but you're better than me. What am I more? Am I more light side? I'm more light side than I am dark side. So we'll have to see if we're gonna change that, but. You know, I, I don't know why, but I seem to be going for light side options. I need to make my character a bit more dark because dark side choices are more fun. But like you guys told me to, I'm just doing what I think is right. And killing Watcher X felt right because I don't want to upset Cleo. I don't know why, because I'm not really a huge fan about Cleo, but I care about her in that sense. I care about her in that sort of, she has my back kind of way. If you get what I mean. Um, so, and I, you know, yeah, she has her secrets, but I trust that she'll tell me within time. But I'm probably wrong about that. I'm always wrong about many things. Oh, it would help if I actually went into the sniper stance. Duh. Right, that's you dead. I shall heal myself up. Uh, there you are. Right, I need to kill the enforcer as well, and then we should be done. Actually, are you, uh... Oh, so I guess I don't have to kill you then, but it's you I have to kill, so I shall heroic moment you. Because if you're not a, if that guy's not an elite, then there's no point because he's not gonna die pretty slowly. He's gonna die pretty quickly if we do need to kill him, but I don't think we do because we need to know his secrets. I should probably have a stim up as well. There's no, no way I'm gonna die, 
So let's have a stim up as well. Why not? Why not? Come on, come on, die. And bomb. I should really use this as well because that will make him bleed over time. Any bleed effects I really should have up, but I forget about them. You know what I'm like. I don't play this game very well. I'm just, eh, I'll press that, I'll press that, I'll press that, and I'll press that, and I'll press that. Ah, oh, maybe I'll press that now, or maybe I'll press that now. So, that's my playstyle. It's it's a terrible playstyle, but you know me. Get away. I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. Don't worry, you're safe. I'm not here to hurt you. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic. The Macrosa Order, the Huts. What's the Macrosa Order? It doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. No outsiders involved. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Intelligence? <laughs> Precocious meddlers. Not much better than the idiot girl Zorid. You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power and fire and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched. And I want no part of it. I need your help. Please, there are things you know. Things no one else does. In another time, another place, I might have done you a favor. I would have owned you. What? But not anymore. I won't be caught in the Master's schemes ever again. <coughs> oh. Okay. Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. Uh, be gentle with him. He's just a terrified old man. Right. I'm sure he's a real sweetie. What with working for Jadis and all. It's true, actually. Ah, uh, right. Let's use our ship's hollow terminal. That was. Wait, what's the computer? Slicing the computer, you find two heavily encrypted files. One is labeled schematics, the other is labeled research. Uh, schematics. This file contains blueprints for an Imperial Starship. Registration Dominator Model BSX-5 Dreadnought, length 600 meters, uh, 8 fighters, 2 shuttles, 2,000 crew, 1,500 passengers, 500 troops. By request of Duff Jadis, all passenger quarters aboard the Dominator, something, 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 I didn't get to read it because you didn't let me game. Let's do the other one now instead. Yep, 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 let's do the research. This file contains a message dated 16 months ago. Uh, Sypnosis, Imperial Science Bureau, Special Project 62991A. Device is not practical. Robust growth fails to counterbalance show manufacturing man maturation process. No further research will be conducted. Enclosed image for this thing. Again, you don't let me read it. Why are you so fast, game? Uh, let's go back to my ship. Wait, don't... Wait. I swear I had the travel to ship ability. I swear I did. Do I not? Have I really got it? Oh, come on. Uh, maybe I just go and got it for my trip. Yeah, I got it on my trooper, didn't I? Oh well, let's just quick travel to the spaceport and then let's make our way back. Anyway, surely the easiest option would have been to put him in carbonite rather than have to drag his body all the way to the ship. And anyway, wouldn't people see me dragging a body to the ship if that was part of the story? What's up? Because if you just put him in carbonite, if you think about Comp Bounty Contract Week, the carbonite just sort of floats and follows you. So what if I just sort of did that and then... Yeah. Surely that would be easier and people might think, Oh, look at that guy with a bounty. So, you know, yeah. And we return, and I have your man for you. Oh. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. I am. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cars. She awaits you there. Keep her out. Well, she would, wouldn't she? Alright, let's make our way to Drummond Cars. I'm forgetting which way I need to go. I need to go that way to the front of the ship. And we return to Drummond Cars once again. My favourite planet of the game, I feel. Uh, where are you? 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 There you are. Of course, you're the only quest I have. <laughs> I just look for the quest, and there we go. Because literally, you are the only quest I have in my thing, isn't it? Yep. Ah, lovely, lovely. I'm finding it a bit bizarre that my trooper is further ahead in levels than my 
Sniper, possibly because my trooper has... Actually, no, I was going to say, my trooper has... My trooper only has three of these, my Imperial Agent has four, so... You'd think my Imperial Agent would be further ahead in... Level, surely? Unless the Imperial Agent... Oh! Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen that before, because I've never actually travelled to German... Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, God, I... It's... Yeah, I'm, I'm being a bit weird there, I know. And um, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, my troopers are far further ahead in level, and it makes no sense, really, because... You'd think my... Maybe it could be because the Imperial Agent and the trooper kind of have different amounts of experience, but... I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't know! See, now that's the next thing they need to give us. Sort of like bridges like these, and then being able to hang flags off them. Because at the moment, all we can do is have flags standing up like that, and just on the walls, so we need to actually have flags that can hang. Um, but I guess we'll see what we're given in the future. Hopefully, within 3.0, 3.1, we'll be given a new stronghold. I mean, what would I want? I would, pro I would probably like to see. I don't know what planet I'd like to see actually. Maybe one on Korriban and uh, Tython, but that wouldn't really work out, would it? Because Korriban is mostly just a place where you train rather than live on so but I mean you never know maybe you can have like an underground Korriban secret base or something and then on Tython I don't know maybe the same way but you know we'll see what they give us in the future hopefully they can be more creative and here we are ready to take on some whatever me, huh? crap Zorid is about to spew out of her mouth hopefully it's good crap oh Dead people. Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? <laughs> yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Siphon 9, your superior and I were just chatting. What? What? Are you alright, sir? I'm fine, Agent. I'll... Speak to me, not to him. He wouldn't be here if not for your lack of respect. What? You see, in our last conversation, you said something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you killed, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. Keeper didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> You're truly ignorant of the nature of authority. <laughs> Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. I'm so sorry about this, sir. I'll be fine. I have Colto sprays in my office. Be careful. So, Fjordiano, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? You have a, a body collection? I'm joking, Agent. Janol and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. If you want these terrorists handled, you'll allow me to work. No reward, then. You will continue without my favor. Now leave me to my new advisor. Yanol and I need our privacy. Are they... For a second there, I thought this was... What you thought? Wait, did I just chuck Yano's body? Just... What? Ah, uh, you can just have him. Yeah. Are these... Are these the... These aren't the people I know, are they? I was going to say, these look like the, um... The team I'm with, and I'm thinking, You better not have killed my team! Oh, blimey, you made me... You kind of got me a bit scared there. Game. Oh. Anyway, now we need to go right back to our ship. Wonderful. And anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if she actually does have a body collection because she's just so sadistic. Look at her. She's just an... Oh my god, she's a walking nightmare. Why have I got to be working with her? Uh, she scares me. Anyway, she sort of said, I'm joking, as if she thought it was sadistic. People actually do have body collections. I mean, heck, in one of my strongholds, I have carbonated people, don't I? Ooh, what was going on there? I have carbonated people. Technically, I do have a body collection. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a sadistic, aren't I? You know, we've been to Hutter. We've been to Korriban. 
we've been to German Cass, we've been to Nashadar, and we've also been to Balmora. And do you know what I haven't got yet? A new companion. Yeah, we've got a uh, what's her face, Cleo, but I haven't got a new companion. Give me another one, goddammit! Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Nashadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. How are they responding exactly? Increased chatter, transfer of goods, activation of safe houses. Fascinating, really. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Sounds like some sort of bomb, I suppose. You know, they say if there's one in every single Imperial stronghold, then perhaps they're trying to... Or maybe stronghold could be mean planet, possibly. They have a bomb on every planet that's just going to eradicate a planet. Possibly. Listen to his voice. He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new Terra cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. And wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We shall take that one because I am a DP. Really? Only 21,000? And I haven't even got an implant yet, so that would really help. Uh, which one do we go to first? I believe we go to Tatooine first. We do indeed. So, let's make our way to Tatooine. A very exciting plan. I like Tatooine as well. Of course, you know, by the end it does seem to drag. Well, the planetary mission does, but... Yeah, I, I, I like Tatooine. I do. I do, honestly. I swear my life on it. I shouldn't really say that, should I? I'm going to die now. Use my ship's hollow terminal. I should turn that one off as well so it's not distracting me. Alright, let's wait for the ship to reach Tatooine and we use our hollow terminal. Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Link established with Moss Illa Spaceport. Updating encryption protocols. And transmission secure. I assume the flight was uneventful. Uh, yeah. Not much of anything here, is there? That's how it looks on the surface. Tatooine's a desert world. Binary star system, minimal life forms, sparsely populated by farmers and petty criminals. Mos Illa is the sole Imperial outpost. Not normally somewhere we'd expect terrorists to congregate. But these are unusual terrorists. The Ghost Cell. Cute name. Did we come up with it, or did they? One of theirs. Not bad for propaganda. Years ago, we heard rumors of a training program for hardened radicals. A terror cell specializing in stealth, infiltration, and assassination. Ooh. Information now suggests this ghost cell is real. Elite support for the Eagle's network. Interesting. Interesting. Kind of like a very, uh, what is it? The... What is it? I forgot. Split. Uh, no, it's not split. Ghost Recon, that's it. Oh, that took me a long time to figure out. I fought ghosts in the Dark Temple. I'm not afraid of pretenders. Cypher, there were no, uh, ghosts in the temple. Rogue force manifestations is all. We're targeting Tatooine on the word of an anonymous source claiming to be a former ghost cell member. The source says that stopping the terrorists is a matter of conscience. He wants a face-to-face -face meeting. An anonymous source demands a meet. Doesn't inspire faith. What he's given us checks out, and we can't ignore this. Soothe his paranoia and dispose of him when you've eliminated the cell. He's waiting for a call from a holocom terminal in town. Stay on guard. Watch your two out. Dispose of him how? Oh, oh, have I just... What, what's this? What, what was that? I didn't gain a legacy level, did I? Did I... Wait, did I actually gain a level? But it still says I'm 23. Well, that's yeah, that says I'm 23. But over there, if you can see on the right, it says I'm 24. So that's a bit of a bug. I, I was wondering what I was wondering what was going on then. Oh, 
Blimey. Uh, what should we have? We shall have you, thank you very much. And what abilities do we have? We have... Haha, -ha, indeed. Absolutely nothing. Huh. I don't think the game's figured out that I've leveled up. I mean, yeah, now it's figured out, but I still found there's still no abilities here, and it, apparently it's saying there are abilities. Hmm. Okay. Whatever game. Ready for this? Ready for this? Oh yeah! So exciting. Ah, oh, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? Those little ships look like little birds. Ah, oh, birds flying around the planet. Ah. Oh. Can you hear that? Kind of sounds like a droid being tortured. That sort of background noise. Oh, it's gone now. Here we go. It's finally figured itself out. But all we have is evasion. Purges all hostile and movable effects and increases your chance to dodge melee and range attacks by 100% for 3 seconds. Does not break stealth. I get stealth? I get stealth later? You're telling me I get stealth? Oh no, that's just an Imperial. Oh. <sighs> wait, wait, sniper. Yeah, I was about to say, sniper, sniper should be stealth, surely, because that's. Yeah, that's what they kind of are in real life. Stealth snipers are meant to be stealthy, so. If you're telling me I get stealth later, oh, I'm going to be so excited, I need to put that away because I don't need that. Yeah, I'm going to be so excited if that's the case. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to get stealth. And if it's the other class that gets stealth, I'm going to be a bit disappointed because you'd think sniper, a stealthy thing in the real world, will be stealthy in the outside world. Wow, that's followed me, hasn't it? bit weird. Uh, right, where are we going? We need to go... Which way am I going? I'm going that way. We need to... Use a public holotonal, which I don't know where that is, but we shall go find it now! Ooh! This is a weird mode! Ooh! Car mode! We're now we're kind of properly in third-person car mode. Ooh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, anyway, here's the holotonal. Uh, right here we are! You can't live without me, huh? I could. Waiting for days. I don't appreciate being jerked around. Who is this anyway? Who sent you? I was told you could help me find the ghost cell. Maybe. We'll see. I'll talk about the terrorists, but I need a guarantee. If we're going to meet, no one can know. Not the ghost cell, not Imperial security. I can't promise anything unless you tell me what's going on. I don't trust you, and the ghost cell wants me dead. That should tell you enough. There are sentry droids all around town. Imperial model, but everyone knows their holocam feeds are insecure. The ghost cell could use them to find me. Take out the droids and I can make our rendezvous. No one's watching for you on holocam. Once you've dealt with the sentries, head to the market. Give the droids holocams to a merchant named Dr. Wiss. He'll send you to me. I didn't come here to play games. If you're toying with me... I'm not toying with you. I'm risking my life for this. If the way is clear, I'll see you soon. Otherwise, we won't speak again. I've risked my life for many other things. Worse things than you. Come on. And I'm just... Here I am. You know, I've risked my life. I've got people wanting to kill me. And I'm just waltzing through a bound planet of Tatooine. Where I can easily be found. Uh, anyway, here's one of the security droids. And... Die? No? Also, there's one thing I've noticed. Why is it people like Kaleo, all my companions... Only mention about a planet when I begin to leave it. So right, you know, when we walk through those doors, Cleo said nothing. But when we decide to leave this planet, she'll say something. You watch in the next episode when I probably leave the planet, or whenever I leave the planet. You just watch. You know, I thought this quest was going to be hard, because usually security droids are difficult to find. Well, unless these security droids are only hostile because I'm actually attacking them and they're part of my quest, but... Yeah, one of the droids. I can't remember what quest it is. It might be a side quest, actually. But it's usually so hard to find these sort of droids. It must be the other droids, then. Whoa, bye, Cleo. You just speed on ahead, why don't you? Not so tough now, dirt bag. You're calling a droid a dirt bag? Surely you should call it a scrap bag. No? No? Okay. Right, where are we going? We're going... Oh, okay. Oh. No, we've got to travel very far after all. Okay, so they're usually green, but because it's part of the quest, they they were red. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hello, I have your stuff for you. Smells 
smells like a sweaty farmer. Great spot for a dead drop. Good droids. Many droids. You're coming to shop now? Yes. You look around. I've got your stupid holocams. Now tell me what's going on. Holocams? Yes. Yes. For these we make an exchange. I get holocams, you get shiny mouse droid. Good condition. I don't want a droid. Who put you up to this? No, no, please. Mouse droid comes this morning, yes? With credits and instruction. Give in exchange for holocams. That is all I know. I do not ask questions when strange droids come with money. So you take it. I don't like it. But I'll do what I have to. Yes, yes, yes. Look, look, your droid is getting away. Better follow him. On Hada, we used mouse droids for target practice. Then let's go have some fun. Where's my mouse droid gone? Where's it gone? It disappeared. No. Mouse droid. Aha. So this is what this back alley is for. Because usually I see all these places on the planet and it just it kind of looks like nothing's here. But obviously there is something here this time. So cute. Whoa! Keep your weapons down. I don't want to fight, I just... You sure you weren't followed? Even if I was followed, you're not going anywhere, understand? I said I don't want to fight! Damn it! Okay, look. I'm backing off. Oh, she's scared. Who needs a hug? I do! My name is Mia Hawkins. I'm not giving you the runaround. It's just... The ghost cell can look like anyone. Holographic disguise. Slow down and start again. Sure. From the beginning. I used to be part of Cobalt Flag, the anti-occupation group on Celest. We fought the Empire, organized bombings and sabotage. Didn't work. Last year, imp security cracked down. Most of us died. I was... Approached by people who offered me a way out. Retraining. So your buddies died while you joined the Elite? Hmm, good deal. Stop it! It wasn't like that! Sure. The Eagles people smuggled me into Tatooine, brought me to this weird empty village in the middle of the desert. The Ghost Cell lived there, a few dozen fighters from around the galaxy, training under their leader, the Old Man. A real name, I take it? He was... ancient. Brilliant. He taught us how to move unseen, kill anyone. The old man's village was an empty model. We could experiment with bombs, sniper fire, whatever. I spent months there. Then they started kidnapping civilians, brought them to the village so we could practice. That's when I slipped away. With your past, I'm surprised you had such a weak stomach. Those people were innocent. There are limits, there... The ghost cell has to stop. I don't know where the village is. They kept us sedated coming and going, but I had a thought. The cell gets food and supplies from some smuggler in town. Name of Dragon Eyes. If we can flesh him out, he can lead us there. Everyone's getting awesome names. I'm Cypher 9, there's Dragon Eyes, there's Old Man. Although, actually, Old Man isn't that cool. Someone we could lean on for information. Not my skill, but I've had friends who were leaned on by intelligence. They talked. I patched together these tracking devices. Wouldn't be hard to plant them on customers in the local cantina. People who know things. Then you ask around for Dragon Eyes, loud and public. Someone's bound to try and warn him, and with the trackers, we can see who. That will actually be quite fun. Believe me, I can make a scene. I'll monitor the trackers and call you when someone gets in touch with Dragon Eyes. But work fast, okay? Righty ho! And we are... But Yeah, it's saying 21k, but actually it's... 80 something? Yeah, I don't know. It's supposed, you know, uh, yeah, it's a bug, but it's supposed to be 12 times XP. So if that's meant to be 20k and we've got 12 times XP, shouldn't it be like 100, 200 something? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go into the sunlight and we shall finish up. So we are now on Tatooine. How lovely. So there's this ghost program and we're going to figure out what it is and what it's being used for before it turns out to be something terrible. So we'll be going to the cantina next time. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time, and a farewell to you.